Hi you guys, this is Ronnie Baloney and I'm back with another makeup tutorial. This time I'm showing you guys how I use my Minisol Glitter Eyeshadow for a very neutral look. So for tonight, I'm going out with a friend so I'm just gonna keep it simple. Starting out with the brows using my Detail Fine Liner uh, Brow Pen in Espresso. I'm using that to just shape up my brows and then using this spoolie on the other side to brush it out and you know make it look more natural I like my brows to be a little straight looking and thin just to fit my eye shape and then next I'm using the cat milk um, uh, eyeshadow primer from mermaid beauty I'm j I know that it's uh, really white but I'm just using this as an eyeshadow base so that the colors of the eyeshadow pop out more next I'm using the Egyptian palette from detail again I'm using the gray eyeshadow as my transition shade Again, don't be afraid of the darker eyeshadows. They will blend out if you use a fluffy brush like, I, uh, like I'm using right here. I am taking this eyeshadow a little bit closer to my eye socket, to my inner eye socket, and just blending that out using the same fluffy brush. And of course, we're doing the same thing on the other eye. Then I didn't show the product here, but I'm using a black eyeshadow. So just use any black eyeshadow, matte black eyeshadow that you have, and just blend that into the outer corners of your eyes. And then blend it, whatever's left on the brush, blend it to the inner um, socket. I'm using a matte black eyeshadow with a tapered blending brush for this. <music> Next is the star of the show, the Minisol Purple Eyeshadow Shimmer that I bought for 199 pesos. It looks gray on the camera, but it's actually purple. It, uh, it does have a purple shift. So when you apply it, it's really smooth. You can't feel any glitter chunks on your eyelid, so it's really comfortable to wear. It is a little sheer, which I think is uh, it works nice for like simple eye looks, and you can just use it as an eyeshadow topper to build up the color of the glitter though you can just um, keep applying it by layers and it should be it should cover up your eyelid but this time since I'm using a white um, eyeshadow base it just covered it right up no problem <music> Next, this is me showing you the glitter uh, shift on my eyelids. And then I'm using the YOU Stay All Day Pen Eyeliner. Usually, I like to do a thick cat eye. But for this specific look, I'm keeping the eyeliner a little thinner and not as sharp because I want the focus of the eye look to be um, on my glitter eyelids. <laughs>
using my e.l.f. primer to smoothen out my face. I'm putting this on top of the areas wherein I feel like I have the most texture. And then the way I fill up my pores is that I put on my primer um, by smudging it back and forth so that the product actually sets into the pore and then it fills it up so that you know it it fills up the pore so that it lessens the texture on my face and the foundation doesn't go into the pores if that makes sense for concealer i just use my maybelline fit me uh, concealer and then putting a dot on the inner and the outer corners of my eyes and then blending it with my fingers i'm not trying to put a really really thick uh, concealer base under there because it does um crease up if you put too much product on your under eyes so i'm just putting a little bit on there and then blending it out with my fingers Next is my absolute holy grail and favorite foundation that would be the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 235. I'm just putting it on my face using a damp uh, beauty blender or a blending sponge. To set my foundation, I'm using the Squad Cosmetics Loose Fixing Powder in Translucent. Next is I just blend the eyeshadow down to my under eyes. So I'm using the same gray and black eyeshadow on my under eyes and then just blend that into the outer corners. I do like to give myself a little bit of an aegyosal, so I do use the uh, fine tip detail eyebrow pencil that I used earlier on my eyebrows. I use that and then draw out the aegyosal while squinting. And then to highlight the aegyosal, I'm using the same uh, gray or purple glitter eyeshadow from Minisoft. Lash time, but before that, prep your eyes with uh, mascara so that it blends into the eyelash better. So I do trim the lashes before I put glue on them and it's it has to be really thin lash glue. And then wait for it to get tacky and then put it on my eyelids. Again, this is all recorded in real time and see how easy it was for me. Next, I'm gonna bronze my face while I let the other eyelash dry and then contour my face um, using a contour palette. I do like to contour my nose as well a little bit. And then again, look at that. Look how easy it is for me to put that on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. Okay, well, well, it's already on there. I'm just adjusting it. But yeah, that's how easy it is to put on 
your eyelashes let me know if you need a tutorial next i'm putting on blush to my cheeks i do um i do go heavy handed with the blush because i know that it's the fastest one or the first one to go uh, as the night goes on so i just put that on my cheeks and then on the tip of my nose <laughs> As if the Minnesota Glitter Palette was not enough, I'm also using purple as my highlighter using the Purple Haze Highlighting Powder by Mermaid Beauty. Again, this is a local brand. It, actually, the owner is from Pavia where I'm from. And just, you know, just I'm not even using bright lights. I'm using my room's lights. And you see that shift, that purple shift? Beautiful. I cannot hype it enough, you guys. And then for lipstick, I'm using the Maybelline Super Stay. I forgot what shade this is, but yes, just to highlight the purple look even more using that as a lipstick. <laughs> Just like that, we are done. I'm gonna show you guys the finished product after. But before that, make sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, subscribe to me on YouTube, and comment down below what other licks you want me to do. Thank you. Bye.